Welcome home to Eden. So this is Eve Kristoff, your love life coach, and I'm here to talk to you about mystical blowjobs. <laughs> okay, well, a question came in that was really important, and I thought, gosh, I should really answer this. Um, so the, 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 the gentleman calls up and he goes, I just don't like blowjobs. They are just horrible. <laughs> and there's something he says about connection that is the missing piece. He said, would you talk about this? So here I am. <laughs> okay, well, you know, there's a huge difference bef between the perfunctory blowjob and the mystical blowjob. And what is that difference? It is all about connection, for sure. Connection of the heart and soul. But there's also something in the physicality and the mechanics of it that we should talk about right away. The the mechanical <laughs> blowjob, handjob, is is um, predictable. It's like a, a fast-paced, rhythmic, rhythmic thing that is has the um, outcome is what's in mind of uh, an orgasm. Uh, the guy's supposed to ejaculate. They're supposed to. That's what's supposed to happen. And it's just like this. Um, repetitive motions that everybody knows what to do <laughs> it's just this is there's no creativity in it and certainly I mean for the person giving that kind of a blowjob it's it, you know it can be scary it's 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 kind of overwhelming and too much work the jaw starts to hurt the throats get gagging all this kind of stuff uh, and for the guy he either likes it because he's trained in mechanical everything um, and he's numbed out you know, or um, then there is a whole nother kind of loja, <laughs> and this has to do with no agenda, no, um, nothing predictable. <laughs> this has to do with pure devotion. This is when the woman is super turned on by her man. She's loving him. She just wants to hold him, touch him, and the combination of her hands and her mouth and her eyes and her heart and any way that she can um, receive his masculinity fully, she's, she's all for it. <laughs> See, you have to turn this down. Um, so, what do you do then if you are, um, you've never received a, th this kind of <laughs> blowjob that's all about devotion? I mean, in the devotional, mystical <laughs> blowjob, the woman, she's praying, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's really connected. Connection is the whole deal, definitely. She is connected. She feels so much connection on a primary level of her spirit that um, in her hands are her heart. In her mouth is her heart. Uh, and so um, he's safe. And also, he could be soft. She, she's going right for connecting with him whether or not he's hard or soft or anything she has no agenda she's not trying to get him off she's actually there for her own pleasure of um, you know taking in his essence as it is and when the man gets to feel that he doesn't have to perform and there is no agenda it's very very profound the, the other levels of sensation that he can he can enter. <laughs> okay, this is before an ad comes on. I just love that song so much. <laughs> so, hey. All right, so, but a lot of times women don't want to give blowjobs at all um, because of this whole perfunctory thing and this whole grabbing her head and saying, do that more. You know, um, sure. In the throes of passion, we we might want to be wild and aggressive, but only when there's really clear mutual respect and and um, the feeling of just playfulness and enjoyment that so there's a kind of domination energy if the man puts out that's really about shaming the woman and not 
respecting her, she's afraid of him. And so she, the last thing she wants to do is get down on her knees to, in a worshipful position if she feels disrespected, like he hasn't been helping with anything, she's been trying to talk about emotions, he won't go there. Um, so she loses her interest in, in pleasuring him when, uh, in that kind of a very, very intimate way if he's not being really, really in tune with her. There's the connection piece again. Um, oh, I have written some things for you. Um, let's see. Well, all humans, you know, all humans want pleasure. And, and the thing is, when uh, circumcision came along, for many men, it took away a lot of their um, subtlety and their, their levels of sensation because the, the, um, the foreskin was full of, of, of tiny little nerve endings that are all about pleasure, you know, and also they protect the shaft. So if you think in terms of like men want sensual softness just as much as women, and in that softness, you know, they, we, we rob a baby, we, we, we mutilate a little baby boy because we think he's got to be tough, it, it won't matter, and what, what, we're going to get him used to torture in his sexuality right away, so circumcise him? No, don't do it, please, don't ever do that, just, just stand up to your religion, just say, hey, there's bull crap in the, those books. Some of it's wonderful, deep, wise, and anything that tells you to mutilate a baby, to abuse a woman, to try to own somebody else, it's bull. It's not true. It was put in those sacred texts and has nothing to do. So if it says to you that, that your sensuality is not okay, that's another thing that could be getting in the way where the whole blowjob thing feels like, oh, it's too erotic, it's too wonderful, and you feel like you, you're not allowed to go there because of your religion. Uh, let it go. Let go of anything that takes you away from pleasure because pleasure is the divine feminine birthright of this world. We have enough pain as it is, but pleasure, if that's not okay, then you have a life full of discomfort and pain because you're going for it. You're heading in that direction. So let's get back to what creates this ecstatic, um, orgasmic, um, mystical blowjob. <laughs> All right. So to, to feel that connected, we know that the, the, the body, you know, when you go to each other's genitals with your mouth, you're right there also with your all these other sensations, your, your hearing, your, your smell, your taste, your eyes, all of this, it's like overwhelming. So yes, I mean, I, I'm the kind of person, I talk a lot about, ah, uh, go down on the woman, but truthfully, I can't let anybody do that unless they are my lover that I feel so close with on all these other levels of, of you know, um, soul connection and heart connection and mind connection and and on and on <laughs> chemistry too. So some chemistry isn't going to work for you. You you go down there and and just you the smell suddenly is <laughs> it could be traumatic. You know you're like I love this person but the smell thing I can't do it. Um, that's sad. But there is such a thing as chemistry that works and chemistry that doesn't and the sad thing is we really can't we can't really change that you can love somebody and if you don't have the chemistry you can never really create it but say you have chemistry and you want to get to another level another level of love and pleasure so the mystical blow job starts with just holding the cock in your hands, holding uh, and, and um, connecting with your heart. Put your heart in your hands. Put your heart in your eyes. Enjoy looking at this amazing cock uh, uh, capacity to... Oops, here, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna turn this up. This song is so beautiful. This is an uh, Egyptian artist, I think, named Um. Oh, she's so beautiful. So, 
you're going to, <laughs> you're going to put your heart in your hands and, and get in touch with this cock capacity to grow and shrink and disappear and reappear and have all these different shapes and sizes loving all of them not one as prowess and and this you know the hiding cock is not prowess how could that not be masculine if that's part of masculinity to to uh, hide also and and to protect oneself and to grow and and come forward in in connection so the mystical blow job is all about this uh, allowing the woman to be experimenting so if you keep telling her, no, no, not like that, do this faster, you know, repeat this, do this, what you're doing is you're just used to this one way of beating off, and you're not opening into the wildness of sensation. So you got to open into feeling a little more safe with the, being out of control. <laughs> Yeah, because that's the wild feminine. She, if you're gonna let her take you there to the, to the mystical place, you've gotta let go of control, right? And that's scary if you're the if you're a really masculine guy, and that's part of your deal together. She likes to be in the feminine, but hey, a really feminine woman is going to need to worship you. That's part of <laughs> that's part of her her um, wild nature. <laughs> So, how did that <laughs> just give you some help? I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, <laughs> I think that's good for now. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why am I doing these videos? <laughs> Thank God for Ralph Smart who says, go ahead, ruin your reputation. <laughs> It'll help. <laughs> It'll help free you. <laughs> so here I am, ruining my reputation again, and wanting you <laughs> to ruin yours too. <laughs> Come on, be more honest with this life. Talk to women about what you really like and what you don't like. And if you're one of these people who are ready for more, let her see this video too. Okay. Much love, darling. I don't know. Okay. Love life.